everybody welcome back to the channel this video we're gonna be watering corn again you see it's up over my head travelers broke down again yet again it's, it's broke down it's broke down a pretty good bit the gears there's a turbine if any of y'all watching this know anything about travelers you'll probably understand what I'm talking about the little ones or a good bunch of travelers just have a turbine. That's what we're looking for. And it's on a shaft. This one that I have is on a shaft, and it's got a bunch of other gears attached to that shaft, and it turns. I'll show it to you in a minute, and then you'll understand what I'm saying. Well, something is locked up, and it, it won't spin. It won't reel up. Last time I ordered with it was, was Monday. And then we got two and a half inches of rain Monday night. Today is Wednesday. And it is almost too wet to walk down in here. Up at the top end, there's dust blowing. And if I don't start watering, now I won't be able to make it across it before it's wilting. So we're going to get the traveler fixed, put some water on this corn, and let's get with it. All right, everybody. This is my uh, rapid rain watering reel, traveler, irrigator, sprinkler, whatever you want to call it. Inside of this, there's a turbine. You can see we've modified it because the people that built it wasn't smart enough to realize that you just can't run a straight piece of hose right here and here because this thing's got a flex. Well, what it done was break up tee off in there so we put this bracket on it and put some epoxy on it seal it up put these big pieces of hose on it where they'll flex where it'll flex like it needs to and that's how we do that so to get the turbine off it's not really not that hard you just take that bolt off right there or the nut and then you take this adjustment nut off, which it should be already loose. So I'll just take it off. And then it pop back. Now let me get the bottom nut off. Alright everybody, I got it off. These are all the gears. You see there's still some grease on there from last time we greased it. That water shoots up in here. It comes out of this hose. Shoots up in there. Spins the turbine, which is under that cover. And it spins the shaft, which is inside of this. Which turns this gear, that turns that gear, that turns that gear, and that gear, and that gear, and that gear. That gear turns that and turns the reel. So let's go get some lubricant and see if we can make this thing move. Alrighty, I got the lubricant. The Grain Wonder product. Shake it up good. And we're just gonna get it all down in them gears real good. Now I'll see if it'll move. Alrighty, I got it put back. Got all the hoses and everything hooked up. That one. That one, got it fastened down. Let's go flip the water on and see if it blows water everywhere or if it moves. Magic touch. Well, that's nice. Come on, baby, move. It's not even in gear. It's something that's something is so tight, it won't even spin the turbine. And we've got plenty of water pressure to spin that turbine. Or according to my rust bucket pressure gauge we do.
Okay, I have pulled it back off. I'm going to take my Milwaukee stuff, pop this nut off, and slide this. The problem seems to be this gear, because I can spin these gears, and I don't know if y'all can see it on camera, but as soon as this gear starts to turn this gear, it gets super, super tight. Right there, I can't, can't turn it. So that tells me that gear is locked up. I'm going to pull it off and we'll see what the mess is wrong with it. Alright everybody, I got the gear off. Once I got it broke loose, it was just, that shaft is dry as it can be. Once I got it broke loose, it come right off. I grabbed a hold of it with a pair of ice grips. I'm going to lube it up. We're going to stick this thing back on here and see how it works. Got it lubed up real good. Put some of this on there. Red and Tacky Spray Grease by Lucas. Got it greased up real good. I'm going to stick the gear back on there. Well, everybody, when I went to put the big gear back on there, I noticed something was off. That's not supposed to happen. That's the back end of the gear. I don't know. Great. You know, everybody, I got kind of curious of what could have broke this thing. This thing was obviously fastening there pretty good. And it all of a sudden came to me. See how close that is? Well, there's some play in this gear. This gear used to be straight. There ain't much clearance. So if one of these other gears got maybe just got just a little bit locked up, and it hits that shaft, it'll bind up. And that's probably what broke it and made the shaft start spinning. But there is no, there's no nothing. And all this back there is the seal for the uh, turbine cover. There's nothing else in there. And then we have this. So I don't know what fastened that thing in there, but... Hey everybody, we got the traveler put back together. We, uh, we took the welder and just tacked the back of that shaft that held the gear. We just tacked it back on. So, got that fixed and then of course I frayed the gear up. So, we got everything put back together. Everything should work right. Should is the key word. So, we're going to fire the water up and see what happens she's working well everybody is working I'll bring you back in the morning when I start watering again Hey everybody, I'm back this morning, headed down here to start the water up so we can get back to rolling. Y'all see what I see? I hope the good Lord fits in the blessings with some rain. The, my most inaccurate weather app that I could possibly find says that it's supposed to rain at 10 o'clock. So, I don't know. We'll find out. Won't be long now. Some of you are probably wondering why I'm watering if it says it's fixing to rain in a minute 
or not a minute, a couple hours. But the reason why I'm not is because if it don't, I mean, I don't know how much it's going to rain. It may rain two inches. It may rain two tenths. It may rain nothing. It may rain enough to make all this corn fall down. I don't know. And the weather, I'd say, oh, yeah, it's going to rain two inches, and we might get a half a tenth. It's not accurate. You can't, I don't go by that. I mean, I look at it, and I can get an idea of what day it's going to rain or what time the rain's going to be here, but the how much it's going to rain is never right. And if I stop watering, and we don't, it don't get any rain, which there's always the chance of that, then I'm behind. Woman, you don't want to get behind. So that's why I'm not going to stop the water until it rains enough. And if it don't rain, I'll keep on watering. That's gonna be the end of the video. I'm gonna keep after it. I got Kate here with me. We're gonna keep on watering until the end. I thank all y'all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.